Hi crafters, I'm Daniela of AB Crafty. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use a Centro knitting machine and knit a reversible beanie. The materials are in the description, along with the link to the step-by-step -step instructions that are on my blog at abcrafty.com. Since we're knitting a beanie, we wanna knit in the round, which means we want to set the machine to tube. Therefore, make sure it's set at T. To start, clear the row counter by pressing on the black button next to the counter. The first round is different from the rest, with the first three to four rounds being the most important. To start the first round, crank the machine until the white needle is in front of you. This will cause it to lift up. The white needle is your starting and ending point. They've made it a different color, so it's easy to find. Now measure roughly a foot of yarn and let it hang inside the machine. Moving from right to left, pass the yarn in front of the white needle. Then turn the crank so then the next needle is in front of you. Pass the yarn behind this needle. Turn the crank again and pass the yarn in front of this new needle. Now go behind the next needle. So you're gonna continue this pattern, alternating moving the yarn in front and behind the needles. Also, an easy way to keep track of whether to go in front or behind is the needles are numbered. This way, you can simply remember that for odds, pass the yarn behind, and for evens, pass the yarn in front. As you go through, make sure the needles are catching the yarn and bringing them into the machine. Otherwise, it's considered a dropped stitch. Once you get to the white needle again, pass the yarn again in front of the needle. Anytime you pass the white needle, the counter will go up one. Now, after the first row, you don't need to move the yarn behind the needles. Keep it in front of all of them. Continue working carefully for the next couple rows and slowly crank the knitting machine. Remember, the first three to four rows are the most important. Then you can move more quickly. By the way, I use three strands of fingering weight yarn as one, but if your yarn is thicker, just use one strand. Worsted weight yarn is about as thick as you wanna go with this machine. I tried before with a bulky yarn and it did not go well and the machine jammed up, so stick to at least worsted weight as the max. Once you finish the second row, you can place the yarn into the holder and through the tensioner. This keeps the yarn taut and each hole provides a different amount of tension. Though you still want it loose enough so it's easy to crank the machine. You'll find you want different tensions for different yarns or different projects. Because I was working with three strands, I did have a little bit of trouble with the tensioner, but eventually got the hang of it. Once you have your first three to four rows done, you can start to move more quickly until you get 50 rows ending with the white needle to the right. Now speeding ahead, cut the end so that you have about a foot of extra yarn. Then remove the yarn and place it in the middle. Then bring the next color that you wanna use. Measure out roughly a foot again and pass it in front of the next needle. Hold the yarn while you continue to pass it in front of each needle for the next row. Since you're starting with a new yarn, it's a good idea to be extra careful with this first row to make sure that you don't drop any stitches. Now is also a good time to reset the counter so you can count it to 50. For whatever reason, I just like to reset it for each color so that I'm counting to 50 instead of 100, but you could just as easily leave the counter there and count to 100. Knit another 50 rows with this new color and again, end the last row at the white needle. After you have your 50 rows, cut your yarn so you have around two to three feet, then thread it onto a plastic needle. And before I forget, crank the machine a full row around. This will allow the machine to finish the last row. For whatever reason, I threaded the needle before, but it probably makes more sense to just do that after cranking the machine. Now you wanna remove your project. Starting with the needle to the left of the white one, push the plastic needle through the loop, working from the inside of the knitting machine outward. Then pull the yarn through the loop. Continue needle by needle, lifting the loops onto the plastic needle. After you get a few of them done, you'll have more room to work and you'll be able to lift up a few loops at once. This will make it go a little bit faster. Now be careful not to drop any loops. Once you get all of the loops, keep it all relatively loose as we'll close the opening in a bit. Remove the project from the knitting machine and flip it inside out. Find the loose ends from when the colors changed and tie them into a knot. Keep in mind, in doing so, what you're actually doing is closing the loop of that stitch. So make sure it's not too tight and not too loose so that the stitch matches the others. Once secure, cut off the ends. Now you're gonna close the ends for the top of the beanie. Bring one side through to the other and pull on the end of the string. 
This will gather the loops into a tight circle. For mine, I started with the green side and let the string hang out while I then closed the purple side. Be careful not to pull too tightly or the end will break and it'll be extremely difficult to fix. Once you close both sides, tie the ends of both colors together into a secure knot. Then cut the yarn to a more manageable length and thread it onto the plastic needle. Sew the ends into the hat between the two layers. Come out partway through and cut off the excess. I just love how quick and easy this project is. Start to finish, it only takes about an hour and you have an adorable reversible beanie at the end. If you enjoyed this knitting tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more crafting videos. And if you have any suggestions for other knitting or crafting videos you'd like to see, please comment below. And to see what I'm crafting day to day, follow me on Instagram and across my socials.